they want to see like volcano. Oh wow, those crystals are gorgeous. We're gonna be showing you all about gen fill, firefly compositing, putting stuff together, and I believe we're going like into a dream state is kind of where we're gonna exist. Yeah, I went on the Adobe stock website. If you type like stock Adobe, dot com slash free. There's like a whole bunch of like free imagery you can license free? download. Yeah, for free, yeah. For free, I know. It's like kind of like focus on like surrealism, right, and dreams. So usually I'll kind of like pick an animal or like, you know, select like a theme or like something I want to work on today. Drag them straight into my Photoshop. Usually that's how I do it because it's like converse straight to smart object. Being able to not have to worry about scaling it down and then you scale it back up and it's just like, there's like five pixels left. And you're like, what happened? Yeah, I know. Just leave it as a smart object. You can use smart filters. You can do all of the things. Don't convert it. Don't rasterize it just work with it how you have it. I think that we just used a new tool, and yes. that is the remove tool. And it's right here where usually the healing brush tool is, or um, the patch tool is like if you right click. Yep. And the second one, the remove tool. We use a remove tool to remove that tree. Super easy, you just paint over the area. You can do a very specific selection, but you can also do pretty broad selections, and it will do just fine. I can like put the elephant into there, you know, just imagine like, oh, in oh. the big scale, that's like where the elephant would big be. Big boy. Right? I do need to remove these textures here though. I oh, see whole ship, you can just like switch in That's between. So cool. yeah. There's some other tools right here too, the individual adjustment. That's like some of my favorite to use, color balance. This is not like different technical. Well, it's like usually how I do the match the lighting, okay. the corrections and everything. Dancing tiger which we could probably generative fill and see what happens. You do generative fill, I'll do firefly. Okay. When you're using generative fill, you want to make a selection that is the size of what you're going to be putting in. Let's see what happens. While that renders, we can flip over to my screen because I yeah. used Firefly text to image to do Dancing Tiger. Yes, it looks way um, better. And we've got this one here. <laughs> we have this one here, which is absolutely yes. Ooh, Dancing Tiger. That one's really cute. And the colors are like really off, mm -hmm. but we can very easily change that by masking out that tiger. Select subject, do a little color balance. There you go. Cool. Selected color. Pick the whites, the neurons, and blacks. Pro tip, if you are doing retouching or any kind of photo compositing, nothing is ever black, nothing is ever white. Those colors don't exist in the real world. This is like before and after, you know? It's kind of like matching that light, bouncing around color. What about types on cloud? Okay. There we go. Oh. That's a little bit better. We want like a like a soft kind Low of... Lofo? Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, I can work with that. Uh, yep, yeah, I'm not mad about it. Yeah. I never really <coughs> like expand the water before. When you are using generative fill on big spaces, is it is actually better to do each side individually than to do them together. Okay, so I should do one by one. Yes. Okay. Yeah, one at each time. Oh. Oh that. yeah, that's that cool. Is, that looks good. That looks good for me. Oh, okay. That's really cool. Ooh, they want to see like volcano. Distant volcano on the mountain. Ice mountain might actually match better. Oh, that works. Ooh. Oh, wow. Those crystals are gorgeous. No, now I want to see, like, can I change the top? I'm still trying. Oh, okay, that kind of worked. Smoke. Maybe, like, lava volcano, and then it'll give you some of that, like, lava. I'm assuming that if I just select the lava shape, <laughs> it's not bad. I feel like it could be better. One thing we could kind of quote unquote work on is using like the photo filters. You Adjustment know. presets. Yes. So these are also new and these are something that will help you kind of pull your images together to give them a new look. And not only will it give them a new look, once you have that and you click on it, it will actually generate all the layers for you. You can understand what the layers are doing. Boabob tree? It's a kind of tree, boabob tree. Boabob tree. Oh yeah, oh that's really cool. I don't know if it's gonna work, but we'll try. Turn the trunk to the tree. Oh, I love that, yeah. <sighs> tree. Yeah. We'll see if it works. That's kind of cool. Kinda, that's kind of cool. With the right tones, that could yeah. be really cool. Butterfly wing. I mean, uh, that's the right shape. Close enough. And we can kind of just blend it in maybe. Oh, it's so cute. Today, we worked with Generative Fill. We created this awesome, amazing composite all together using Generative Fill. Bye. Bye.